Hello everyone, it's Mr. Baumgarten here with the next of our Pi Game video series. Last time we had our world view moving around as we moved to the left and to the right. And today's video we're going to start interacting with our world. Uh, we'll start by landing on the ground and being able to uh, move around and uh, jump and land on the ground. So we had our world offset sorted out last time. Uh, there's a couple of little issues that we need to f fix up straight away. Uh, down here where we had keeping our player within the screen limits and you noticed that we were just falling constantly then. Uh, we need to, <laughs> these if statements, we need to get rid of these equal signs. We, uh, if we are greater than the, than the ground, then then we'll set it to the ground and if we've gone beyond our right hand limit then we'll set it to the right hand limit but we don't if it's equal to we don't want to set it equal to um, mainly because then that's going to keep triggering these world offset changes and so that's why we're just constantly moving uh, the whole time uh, so and that's right for the wide ground I want to get rid of these 140s because uh, they are also messing things up. Okay, so my I'm now stationary again because uh, my player was also just constantly moving to the right before. Um, once I tapped right, it was keep continually moving. So that those two fixing those two things uh, address that little issue before we go any further. Okay, so now we've got those little quirky bugs out of the way uh, that actually have caused me to have to do this video as a second take. <laughs> Let's get actually moving and landing on the ground properly. So I'm going to come up here and create a new function. And I'm going to call this uh, get tile properties. And so this is going to be a function that we can call and give it the x and y coordinates of wherever we are. And it will figure out it will return to us the properties uh, so we can look up to see whether we're on the ground or whether we are you know, on something climbable or something that's hurting our health or whatever. So this function is going to need the, T the TMX data. It needs all the data for the tiles. And it needs the X and Y pixel location for our player, our sprite within the view window. But then we also need the world offset coordinates so that we can we know where our view window relates to within the wider world. So we receive all of that information. So we're, we'll take the x and y coordinates of the view window and turn it into x and y coordinates for, uh, for the entire world f first. So the world's x pixel location is whatever our player's x coordinate is minus the world offset uh, for 0, 0 being the x value inside that list and then uh, the y pixel location for the entire world will be the same thing but for y minus world offset index location 1 and then we'll turn those into tile coordinates. So what x and y location uh, as a tile number and so that will be the world's pixel number divided by the width of our tiles and our tile tiles are currently running 35 pixels wide and the same for the Y so that'll be the world's Y pixel location divided by 35. Uh, we'll then just get the the properties so we'll say properties for a particular tile will be it's inside the TMX data and t that TMX data provides a function called get tile properties. Now this does not clash with our function get tile properties because because um, this one only you, you only execute their one by providing the TMX data dot in front of it so it, they're two se separate functions. Their one we provide a the tile x and tile y number and layer 0 is what we want. Now if we are requesting something where there isn't a tile such as we're in free space 
then this function is actually going to return a none. Um, but that's not going to be very convenient for us because otherwise we need to be constantly checking, okay, if, for instance, ground, is ground inside this list? And if it is, what is its value? All right, so it's much easier to just provide all of, uh, a whole set of defaults. So we're just going to say if the properties is none, then we're going to provide default properties. And these, so this will be what we want to uh, have as the values for our properties if we are floating in midair or falling through air, basically. Uh, if we're somewhere where there isn't a tile. And so in that circumstance, we're going to say that climbable is going to be off. You can't climb air. The ground is going to be off, so that's going to be zero. The health is not going to be affected, so that's zero. Points is not going to be affected, so that's going to be zero. Uh, it's not going to it's not going to provide any uh, any benefits to us, and it doesn't require any benefits, so they're both empty strings. And solid, oops, solid is also zero. Mid air is not solid. Uh, and then finally we just need to return the properties to whatever line of code called us. All right, there's one more change we will make to this and I'll just quickly demonstrate why we need that change. Uh, so if I come down here into where we are doing our left and right um, and then our W for jump and our S for landing. All right. Um, what we're going to want to do is look up the the tile that we are standing on. Uh, and so I'm going to insert this here. Uh, right, so between the A and the D key press and the W and S key press. Uh, and the reason I'm inserting it here is because this we, we need to know if these are going to change our... Uh, our x coordinates and so we need to know the updated x coordinate before we look up to see what we're standing on but we need it in advance before we jump because if we're not standing on something solid then we're not going to allow ourselves to jump so we will find out what we are standing on after we've done our x any x changes but before we do any y value changes so i'm just going to call this standing on and i'll say let's equals to get tile properties and I'll, I'll give it the TMX data uh, and it'll be our X location of our player sprite plus 12 because you remember our player sprite X and Y locations are the top left corner of the sprite but we want to kind of know the center of you know our middle point of the player uh, and what's at the player's feet so that'll be the Y plus the 35 pixels for that. And we need to provide the world offset so we can adjust it for wherever we are within the world. And if I just print this out for now, um, there's a circumstance in which we'll get an error. And so I'll show you what happens and why we need to make one more change to our function. Uh, so I can move around and we see that we're printing out, okay, we're in mid-air, so this is because that properties is none, and so it's giving us all these defaults, which is fine, that's what we want. Okay, and as I move through different things, you can see that we're getting the properties here of that ladder. Okay, uh, and same as if I, I'm here when I'm touching this wall. Uh, but I can, at the moment, nothing stops me from moving off the edge. Um, and we get this exception error and our game has crashed. So we need to fix that up. And so I'm gonna come back up to our function that we were writing. Uh, and so if this returns an error, so we're gonna put in here try to get the properties. And if we get a value error, so except if we get a value error, then we're also gonna, in that circumstance, let's just provide the defaults. Because right, it's outside of our world view, but w there are situations in which we'll need to be able to look up the properties for it. Um, but if, in this circumstance, if our player ever happens to go there, how about we really hurt our health? Because we can't go outside the world. Okay, so that function is now ready to go. 
Uh, now we need to fall until we land on something solid. And so we need to come down here and change our game, our logic for jumping and falling. So let's just put let's just put in a nice comment here, jumping and falling. All right, so that was a jump in progress there, and this was um, landing or falling in progress happening here. So this is now what we need to change. And basically, instead of falling until our Y, while our Y position is um, higher than the ground, uh, where ground is just being set a, um, a pixel number, we actually now want to be falling until we are standing on a tile that has the property of ground. So we change this else if statement and we look up the properties of this standing on tile. So whatever tile we happen to be standing on, whatever tile is at our feet, if it is solid, then we have landed. So we set to see if it's ground. Now, if it's not solid, then it was zero, right? And because we were turning it to one if it was ground. So if it's zero, it's not the ground, which means we need to keep on falling. And that should now, if we play this code, we should keep on falling until we land on something solid like that. Fantastic. Uh, and I've got my jump happening and we are walking through we we are able to jump into the ceiling and in, in the middle of a wall um, so we need to fix that up but also here my jump key doesn't only works at this certain location and that's because at the moment um, the situation in which we allow ourselves to jump it also needs fixing uh, here this is let me just close this okay so at the moment when we're hitting the W key we're still checking is our Y pixel location equal to the Y pixel location for ground. We need to change that so that it's uh, we only allow a jump to initiate if we're on a tile of standing ground. Because right, at the moment that was going to let me jump from midair and everything else. So I changed this if statement to say if I am standing on ground. All right, and if it's ground then it's set to 1. And so in that like in that situation, if I've pressed W and I'm standing on something where ground has been turned on, then I am happy to initiate a jump. And that should now clean all of that up as well. Where am I? Let's get some solid. I keep missing it. There we go. All right, and now I can jump, but I can't jump when I'm in mid-air. And I can jump up to that and I can still jump from it. Oops, let's get back up here. All right, and jump onto that, and jump onto that. Um, all right, so we have jumping, and we have landing. Next video, we will make the walls solid, and we'll make the ceilings solid. This is Mr. Baumgarten signing out.